Imagine a weapon of war made not of steel, but of wood. In the darkest days of World War II, when metal was scarce and the skies were dominated by machines of destruction, a few nations turned to an ancient material to fight a modern war. These were the wooden wings of World War II, fragile yet fearless, simple yet deadly. This is the story of how wood, canvas, and ingenuity took to the skies and changed the course of history. World War II was a conflict that changed the world. The skies became a new battlefield, and aircraft, towering giants of steel and aluminum, ruled the air. Yet in the shadow of these metal titans, another story unfolded. A story of planes that were different, planes made of wood. This is the story of the wooden wings that took to the skies during the greatest war in human history, war and resource scarcity. As the world plunged into war, nations found themselves in desperate need of critical resources. Aluminum, essential for tanks, ships, and artillery, became scarce, but the war in the skies could not wait. Engineers and designers turned away from metal and embraced wood, a material that was abundant, inexpensive, and easier to work with. Yet using wood was not without its challenges. Engineers had to contend with issues such as moisture absorption and structural integrity in adverse weather. Through innovative techniques like treating the wood and reinforcing joints, they transformed a humble material into a formidable asset for aviation. De Havilland Mosquito, the Wooden Wonder One of the most renowned wooden aircraft was the de Havilland Mosquito, affectionately known as the Wooden Wonder. Built primarily from plywood and timber, the Mosquito was fast, agile, and nearly invisible to enemy radar. It served multiple roles, as a reconnaissance aircraft, a bomber, and even a fighter. Its design was a masterclass in engineering. The lightweight construction contributed to exceptional speed and maneuverability, while the robust wooden framework withstood significant battle damage. As one veteran pilot once recalled, flying the Mosquito felt like dancing on a razor's edge. Every maneuver was a testament to ingenuity and daring. The Mosquito proved that with brilliance and determination, wood could rival even the most advanced metal fighters. Soviet Po II, the Night Witch's Steed. On the Eastern Front, the Soviet Union utilized the unassuming Polikarpov Po II, an aircraft constructed from wood and canvas. Originally designed as a trainer, the Po II found a new purpose as a night bomber in the hands of the legendary Night Witches. The Germans dubbed it the sewing machine because of its distinctive rhythmic engine sound that announced its silent approach. Its low speed and ability to fly at minimal altitudes allowed it to bypass enemy radar and defenses. One surviving pilot later reflected, our Po-2 wasn't built for raw power. It was built for persistence and stealth. Every night flight was a silent act of defiance. The Po-2's relentless operations struck fear into the enemy proving that even the simplest design could wield psychological power on the battlefield. Japanese wooden planes, fighting against the odds. In the Pacific, Japan also turned to wood as resources dwindled. Experimental designs like the Tachikawa Ki 94 showcased Japan's efforts to innovate under pressure, even though it never entered mass production. Additionally, wooden designs were adapted for kamikaze missions. The Yokosuka MXY-7 Oka, a purpose-built flying bomb made primarily from wood, embodied the desperate measures taken during those times. Its one-way mission symbolized the extreme sacrifices and unwavering resolve of its pilots, young men willing to risk everything for their homeland. Advantages and Disadvantages of Wooden Planes Wooden planes had their unique advantages. Their lighter weight and simpler production processes allowed for rapid construction when metal was in short supply. Moreover, the wooden construction had an unexpected benefit. It absorbed radar signals, making these aircraft nearly invisible to enemy detection systems. However, there were significant drawbacks. Wood is inherently vulnerable to environmental factors such as rain, snow, and humidity, which could compromise its structural integrity. 
While these aircraft excelled in certain performance areas, they could not match the speed, durability, and overall resilience of their metal counterparts. This balance between innovation and limitation defined the era of wooden aviation. The end of the wooden plane era. As the war progressed and technology advanced, metal aircraft became the standard. Factories that once specialized in the craft of wooden planes quickly shifted to mass-producing their metal successors. While wooden aircraft gradually faded from active service, their legacy endures as a powerful reminder of human ingenuity. Today, the wooden wings of World War II reside in museums and archives, serving as timeless symbols of a period when creativity triumphed over scarcity and adversity. Wooden wings may no longer soar the skies, but they remain a testament to the relentless spirit of innovation, courage, and hope. They were more than mere machines. They were embodiments of a resolve that refused to yield even in the direst circumstances. This is the story of the wooden planes that defied the odds, the pilots who risked everything, and the engineers who transformed a simple material into a weapon of ingenuity. This is the legacy of wooden wings, a legacy of daring, sacrifice, and the enduring human will to find a way even when all seems lost.